Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another update showcase of the Toothless mod or the Night Fury mod. This has got a little update guys where he has some cool new tricks. So, as you can see there's two roaming here. These two are wild. Um, I didn't actually spawn those. I've set, you can now configure the spawn rate in the config guys. So if you don't want them to spawn naturally at all, you can set it like that. Or if you want loads of them to spawn, you can set it like that. So I've got a spawn egg for a Night Fury and it looks cool. It's got the black and purple texture. So let's go ahead and in order to tame these bad boys, you're going to need a lot of fish. So I'm going to get into game mode zero just to check how much I actually use. Because it seems to take quite a lot most of the time. Oh, that only, only took three. Let's try again. Let's see. Da, 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 not too bad. It's, it seems to be 1 in 10. Between 1 and 10. So once he's tamed, of course, you can ride him without a saddle. So that's pretty cool. And the animation is pretty sick. So you can fly. And uh, this is just for anyone who hasn't seen the first update. You can fly around and pretty much whichever way you aim, he flies. So if you look this way and just press forward, whatever your forward key is, he will fly that way, which is so cool, and I think the animation is really, really nice as well. And uh, yeah, I really like the flying on it. So guys, oh, that just spawned in front of our face. Wow. Okay, so let's check out some of the new features that we haven't seen yet. So, first one first. I'm going to fly over this way and do it. Okay, so actually, no, I need to be in game mode, so let's stop there. And the nice thing is he doesn't actually go down when... Um, when you stop in the air, he just hovers exactly where he is. So let's fly up, and if you just stop, he'll just he'll just hover. So you can just stop and have a look around, which is really nice. And his head kind of follows you. Okay, so I got some gunpowder. You know what that means? He's gonna be shooting. So I am in survival mode now. Boom! Check that out. And he makes a night fury noise. And look at that explosion. It is big. It is very big. And now he's out, okay? So now, after using five bolts, you've got to re-top him up with gunpowder. So if you just right-click while you're sitting on him, you can give him five more gunpowder, and he will go again, which is really sweet. And look at that destruction. So I've got some targets set up. We're going to do some target practice after once I show you all of his cool little tricks. And you guys have to leave ideas in the comment section below of what more um, tricks, updates, what can we do to make him better. So let me know, guys. Um, okay, right, let's check out his next skill. All right, so his next skill, guys, is so cool. I really love it. So if you're flying, see, we've got all these sheep here, okay? So if you're flying over, just like in the movie, and you want to pick up a sheep, oh, you've got to get it right, though. There we go, got one. You can actually pick it up with right click and drop it with right click. So we can play the game where the... Dragons have to catch the sheep and get them in the pen. Ah, and I missed. I missed. So you've got to be careful, but uh, you've got to be spot on. There, we got another one. We got another one. So you just right click while you're over it, and he'll pick it up. And oh, okay, let me try this in normal mode, although I can't see the sheep. So it might be hard, but uh, let's do it. No, going down too far. I'm going to kill this sheep before I even get to drop it. Let's go up more. Up, up, up. Here we go. Okay. And uh, drop. Ah, oh, so bad. Let's try again. Did I get one? Ooh. Did I get one? I don't think so. Let's go down. Ah. You're gonna be mine, sheep. Oh, I did get one. Oops. Hey, up. Yeah, I have a sheep. Okay, let's try that again. See, I keep aiming down. I keep looking down, and it makes me fly down. So I need to kind of fly over and... Oh, I'm so bad! Got another one. We got another one. Let's try again. Okay, let's go for a blue point. Yay! <laughs> that was so good. So let's go up a bit and have a look at that. So there we go. I've got some water in there so he doesn't die. So guys, we could do a little mini game with that if you guys want. Maybe with the Atlantic Craft, we can do some points for different colored sheep, just like in the movie, which is really sweet. But let's go through and see if I can hit all of these targets. All right, let's do it. Okay, so he has five shots, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, he has five shots. I can't feed him. So let's go. Let's go. One. Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, we got to get up. And then we got to look down. Oh, no, I hurt myself. Wow, I'm nearly dead. So that actually does a lot of damage. I'm going to test it against a few mobs soon. And I'm pretty good with this target practice. 
I really love his attack. Oh, he needs one more. Really love his attack, guys. Um, it makes the sound of the Night Fury as well. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Of the actual Night Fury attack. And it looks really cool in shaders as well. It kind of glows purpley. So let's uh, test this Night Fury against some mobs. Alright guys, I just had a little sneaky golden apple because I was low on health, but we're going in against some mobs and I'm going to be taking on some mutant creatures, seeing what this Night Fury can do. Okay, so he's all charged up, let's go in. Where are they hiding? Oh, they despawned! Alright guys, you can see three mutant zombies there and they're not going to despawn this time. Let's do it. Okay, up we go. I don't want to go too far away from them. So let's see what kind of damage that does. They're not, they're not bothered with me right now. Oh, no. That's another thing, guys. You cannot shoot it near yourself. You will die. You will definitely die. Oh, let's go up. Boom. So that's the two of them down already. That is a lot of damage. My God. Dootless is a beast. It'll be interesting against a skeleton who can actually shoot back. And look at them down again. So that is a hell of a lot of damage, guys. Going down again. Oh no, I need to get more good better. So this is all just testing the damage because I haven't actually seen what it can do. But obviously very, very good. With the size of the explosion and killing these mutant zombies like that. It's pretty crazy. Is he staying down? You better stay down. No? You want, a, you want another one? There you go. Now you're down. Okay, let's try a mutant skeleton. See if he'll shoot back at us. Let's see. Mutant... Skeleton. Okay, here we go. Let's spawn. One, two, and three. Okay, let's get on. Fly up a little, little, little bit. And then it's time. Will they shoot back at me? They're not shooting at me while I'm on. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, too close again. Oh, God, I'm so stupid. Oh, my God. Okay, my dragon should TP to me as well, guys. Once they're tamed, I have two tamed at the minute, so that's why these all just keep popping up. Uh, let's hope he still has some attacks. Ooh. What is this? That's one floating. That's one of the attacks just... Oh! Oh, no! They are! Oh, God, they can hit me. Pretty good. So you gotta... Evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. They're coming. They're coming pretty fast. I gotta run out of things here. Boom, right in the face. So, oh god, that was pretty good. So I think I killed one there. Let me get some more gunpowder before they kill me. Again. Okay, let's do it. Let's kill this guy. Boom. <laughs> Just smashed into a load of load of pieces of bones. Oh my god. So they're all actually dead. So as you can see, it is a extremely strong attack and it does quite a big bit of damage to the world you can also change that in the config guys it doesn't have to do damage to your world if you don't want it to but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this update of the toothless mod leave ideas in the comment section below where we can add more dragons add more different tricks that they can do or different abilities but yeah hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time